Um, Senator Roberts. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I'd like to continue with the questions I had before. Um, Minister, the purchases of COVID injection doses was by any measure excessive. $18 billion cost, yet we have only used 37% of Pfizer, 26% of Moderna, 25% of AstraZeneca, and 1% of Novavax. Why did we buy 267 million vaccines for a population of 27 million people? Thanks for your question, Senator. Um, I think Professor Kelly um, uh, went through some of the rationale for uh, the COVID purchasing arrangements earlier, but, but just to, to recap, I think the most important consideration at the time was to ensure that every Australian would have access to um, COVID-19 vaccines. It was necessary at the time, given it was a new vaccine, a, a whole you know, new disease, to have a portfolio approach to our purchasing. So, um, so we had a number of vaccines purchased and we needed to make sure uh, that you know, they, were, they were all going to be safe and effective and to have enough for each of the vaccines to cover the population. Um, I would note that um, we remain in terms of the, um, the vaccine program with purchasing that's carrying through into the future as, as well and currently. So some of the vaccines numbers you gave are, are the ones that are currently going through, through the system uh, and that we have an acceptable level of waste for the program, which is something that we look into to make sure it's an effective and efficient use of public money. <laughs> so by my simple calculations, 267 million vaccines is 10 each. That's for people who didn't want, didn't want to be vaccinated as well. So, so it's even more than 10 per person, per Australian, per I, baby. Uh, I, I won't question your maths, Senator, but I think I think going back to my comment about having a portfolio approach um, and noting that um, you know different different vaccines um, under the advice of the Australian Technical Advisory Group on Immunisation have been recommended over time for different groups, um, such as the AstraZeneca vaccine. Um, it was necessary to have um, you know some flexibility in the purchasing arrangements. Were all of the 267 million doses delivered to Australia? Were they at the at, at what time period? Uh, have they all been delivered? No, yeah. no. Some of them, some of them continue to arrive so through our advanced purchasing agreements. So, how many have arrived, and how many yet to arrive? So, um, uh, due to commercial sensitivities and the secrecy provisions in the contracts, not able to answer specific questions relating to specific vaccines around that. I will. I am able to tell you how many we purchased. Um, of the different vaccines um, and, and, you know, some of the uptake that we've had overall, which has been 71 million vaccines have been administered over the last few years. So that's about a quarter of what we've bought? Yes, so far. So you're there's, there's more coming every day. So you're refusing to tell us how many have been delivered because uh, of commercial sensitivity? Yes, to date, yes. Well, I'm, and I'm, the requirements of the contract of the agreements with the companies. Well, I understand it, Minister, that Ms Fisher is required to produce to this committee any information or documents that are requested, and I've requested the number of the vaccines that have not been delivered. But there's also, um, I don't know what you're reading from there, but within the standing, standing order. orders, there's also, um, you know, exemptions or you know, provisions for things like commercial inconfidence. But we can tell you how much has been Alex spent. Um, we can go through how many has been purchased from each company. And I would imagine um, you could say that, you know, you could answer about, um, you know, that the agreements are being conducted in accordance with the requirements of the contract, for example. You know? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the transparency, but there are still legitimate reasons before committees that matters remain um, commercial inconfidence or um, well, as I understand security it, inconfidence, a range of different reasons. As I understand it, Minister, there's no privacy, security, freedom of information or other legislation 
that overrides this committee's constitutional powers to gather evidence. And Ms Fisher and yourself are protected from any potential prosecution as a result of your evidence or producing documents to this committee. So if you want to seek indemnity from providing that, then you have to submit it to the com committee. Well, we, we certainly, if, you, if you're insisting yes. we provide that, then I can refer the matter to the Minister for Health.